take this as an individual. If you're self-employed, well then you're probably in a, a bit better situation when your tax bill comes through and so where does the money go? Let's see you go. It's my understanding that this government is blah 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 blah. You can, you can get the, the ten, do you know what site you can get it off of? Yeah, um, yeah makeforcehistory.org currently. Um, but the basic principle is that international law supersedes national law. And under international law, it is illegal to pay tax to a government that's involved in an illegal conflict, um, which we barely undeniably currently are. Um, yeah, so I think there's templates on tpuc.org as well, but makewarshistory.org has a template and it has all the information to back it up. Because if you're going to take that stand, you need to know. Yeah. So what's that website again? Makewarshistory.org. Warshistories.org. Yeah, and they've got a template up there that, that explains that you're aware that under um, under international law, I think it's um, there's a few, there's a few, but the up to date one is the Rome Statute of the International. But, but it's court. an offence if you pay your tax to a government. But yeah. So you're a criminal while you pay your tax. It would be to genocide. Can't have that there, can we? <laughs> Make war's history one word, is it? Make, uh, make, make. Yeah, one word. One word. What if you're automatically taxed when you get paid? Well, that's what I'm saying. That's the, the pay as you, uh, was it pay as you earn or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. Then, then you have to go to your employer and say, I now realise, if you get that template, you say, I now realise that I'm a criminal paying tax to this corporation. You have to be the PAY. Yeah. So it is your duty to inform your employer. Though. Yeah. If not, you really are breaking that act. So yeah. You're aware of it. And also, if they if they carry on and they don't do anything, then they're kind of complicit in that yeah. as well. I don't get it. Because so, right. if, uh, how do you make it stick to the UK government? So you speak up on one. How do you make it stick to the government supporting terror? Yeah. And I don't want to pay the taxes. Do you have evidence? But if you go to the website, you'll, you'll see how the letters structure. Yeah, it has been, uh, Chris Coverdale gave about 18 hours of evidence to the police and it went to the CPS for a... So what we ask you to provide evidence? Yeah. What yeah. can we provide evidence? Yeah. Okay, so that's Yeah. Is there a site where you can actually go where... I mean, I, I know like a bit about this. Myself. Yeah. yeah. It's, you can no. find it all on makewarshistory.org. But is there templates? Is there a place where you've got all the templates? Yeah, it is. So you, you can take that and maybe give that to your employer because it lists all the acts out. It's got it all, all there. And of course, it's written in legalese, and of course, legalese is supposed to intimidate, so you can use it on another. Because that's, that's what you need. You know, and, and because that's how you feed this, this tyranny. As soon as you start taking money from it, it doesn't bite that. It feeds on it. That's that's what that's what it needs, and that's you're empowering. So the best way, for, it's more more effective for you to do that than to go and stand in the street protest. I mean, I, I'm a dial protester. I've been on loads and loads of those activists who have done stuff, but has it really changed anything? All right. So the police get loads of overtime. The press do it. A few lawyers get loads of dosh do and everything like that. We might feel good about ourselves. No, oh, I did a good protest at that, and that sort of stuff. But is it as effective as taking away the money? Cool. Saying, so, well, we're just going to hold our dosh now. You can even, you can even, you basically do it in honour if you want. Really, you just say, I'll keep the money in an account, and and when in such time as a legal, lawful government come back into power again, well, then I'll negotiate. That's fine. Do you know what happened with Wesley Snipes in America when he stood up against the federal about that he refused to pay taxes? Because he's supposed to have gone to prison. Right, yeah, well he's supposed to have gone to prison. I'd be kind of wary of stuff that's in the media. Right. In, in terms of examples of... Because they said they're going to sentence him now. Yeah. They said they're going to sentence him now. Yeah, he, he got three years, didn't he? Yeah. I'm not sure about that. He's appealing, but I'm not sure. No, he, he was on appeal. Yeah, yeah. But the appeal has been... Can he appeal again now? No, no, no. He, he has to give a date when he has to have Yeah, they're going to give it. We have to go. Well, according to the paper. Yeah. According to the paper. 
he was contracting uh, hundreds of times. So. Yeah. <laughs> but but <laughs> I would imagine that the lawyers have cha ching cha ching yeah, 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 yeah. 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 more than his tax bill would have been anyway. And that's the way it works, because as soon as you try to stick the system, you're the one that bleeds for it. That's what you see. Whenever you try to stick the system, you're bleeding. It's like recently to Parliament Square. All right. Whatever your thing is about it, who made out of it? Well, the lawyers. As soon as you try to stick the system, you're the one that bleeds. It's your sweat equity. It's your credit. It's your, you're going to suffer. We're going to suffer whenever you do it. It's built into it. It's built into the system. It's a work of genius. It's a bit like drug prohibition, isn't it, really? Like, who makes money out of drug prohibition? The lawyers, army, navy, banks. solicitors, the banks, the drug companies, the drug workers, the doctors, psychiatrists. You've got the drug addicts at the bottom there, and then some bloke in Labra Pro, you know, selling the fucking rock. Well, all, all the crack dealers in the world. Yeah, well, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. But who are they all working? If you, if you work it all out, who they're working for? Yeah. They're all working for the Vatican. Yeah, that's where the, the buck stops, that's the corporation, that's the one that works. You can take it further than that, but I want to keep my feet on the ground, because I know quite a few of you have probably read stuff about reptiles and all the rest of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And all the yeah. other number, which, you know, I, I read as well, you know, I've got it in there, but I really want to keep it down to the tangible stuff that's written on, on, on paper. Is the Vatican called a washing machine? Is? Is the Vatican called a washing machine? Yeah. The Vatican called a washing machine? Yeah. I don't know what you all mean. the dirty money, because it all goes to that. That's, all, that's, the, that's the main place. Yeah, all, all the money. Dirty money. Well, you, basically, the fact that like the city of London and uh, District of Columbia, Washington. Well, Washington is where, hence. But, but those, those are cities within cities. They're nations within nations. And they've got their own uh, law, their jurisdiction. The Vatican is, the, uh, is, is a city within a city of Rome. It's the head of the Holy Roman uh, Church. At the end of the Roman Empire, we kind of went into a theocracy. In other words, instead of being a physical corporation, it became the Holy Roman Empire, basically. Constantine, Emperor Constantine, yeah. He was from the son of Helen. Could you speak up a bit like so we can hear? And there are, there are bloodlines. Yeah. And he says, everything goes through me. Yeah. And then through the bishops are in place. And therefore, the Vatican is always number one. It's yeah. to go. So, so in, in other the words, the Vatican owns everything. Exactly. The Vatican owns the world. Everything is owned by the world. Who's ever put the team, like, in a sense? Uh, he says he started Christianity. Uh, well, the. All, all the popes are basically uh, God's representative on earth. They're the agent for God. And therefore you have to do what they say. And they're, they're the authority. They're, they've assumed this, this flock. Um, and uh, you need to do your own, own research on it. Certainly checking out every constant. He was a pagan right up until his deathbed, by the way. He wasn't a Christian. So we're, we're looking at the corporation. Let's look at that a little bit. Westminster, West Monastery. That's what it is. Ministers, MPs, members of Parliament, Parley, Tor. But they're all, and they all got these Gothic buildings. It's, it's all partly run by the church. But of course, but you know, people say, "Oh, I can't believe in God and all the other stuff in the church for one reason." But like, it doesn't matter. You've got the solid one for even this man. That's your equity. You're their resource. You've consented to be their resource. You know, you think of the, the, the monasteries and, and the people working in the fields and all the rest of it. You, you, that's it, you're a peasant. Um, a gentleman over there mentioned about a um, higher level of God. Um, can you elaborate what that was about? What, the trust law? Yeah, right. Um, I'm a bit wobbly on the trust law thing um, recently because to, to start off with, I kind of got into it. I began to understand something. As I said when I started off, this whole subject is meant to be confusing. It's been created that way to cause confusion. So what I'm trying to do is simplify it so you can just grasp enough of it to kind of navigate your own way through your own research. And I mean that term navigate because that's where you get the term con from as in coin term. But trust law is, is basically...